Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 17 of Small Town Big Dreams. I hope you are well. Thank you very much for joining me today. In today's episode we have two LifeCon games again as usual. The first one being a fourth round qualifying for the FA Cup and the second one being a league match. If you do enjoy today's video please click that like button. If you haven't already and you enjoyed this content, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell to let you know when a new video does go live. Right, let's go into it. Let's jump straight into it. No messing around. We've had a few fixtures since the last game, since the last uh, video. We should be good. We're looking good. We haven't conceded in 12 games. We are not an achievement. Part of the tank. Wow, I didn't think we'd do that. So let's have a quick catch up of the latest fixtures that were played since we last met. Some interesting results, definitely. <laughs> so since we last met in the 3 0 and 2 0 wins against Mansfield in the Cup and Notts County in the league, we've gone on still a quite a decent run. Still haven't conceded. Like I said in the intro, we have got the achievement part the tank where you don't concede a goal for 10 consecutive games. We've beaten that one 12 at the moment. So we knew another 18 games without conceding. That's an achievement, which is don't concede with 30 games on a draw. That's a, that's a hell of an achievement to unlock, if we can get that. Let's not, like, push it, you know? It could be. Let's get it two games we can concede World 2. But the only goals we have conceded are the first eight minutes of the first game of the season against Hartlepool. But after the 2 0 win against Notts County, we followed up with a 3 0 win over Sutton United. Uh, Kingsley, Ben Sheaf on a penalty spot, and Curry getting on the score sheet. Then we had a 2 0 home win against Havant on Waterlooville. Couldn't get on the score sheet twice, getting itself a little brace, 64th and 74th minute. Then a 0 0 against Gateshead. We had one highlight the whole game. And I'm playing on key highlights with one and two halves of football. It was like, uh, okay, bit weird. But then we smashed Chorley 4 0, Ben uh, Sheaf, Ryan Bennett, Drunt, Moreira, and Castro getting his first goal for the club on the score sheets with a 4 0 win. Like I said, today we do have Bromley in the FA uh, Cup fourth qualifying round. Bromley are in our league. We've already played them once to beat them 2 0, Bennett and Selling getting two quick goals. And then we have Woking at home. In the league for the league game. Talking of the league, shall we see how, where we are? Still undefeated, mind you. you can see the two goals. Absolutely null it indeed. Shall we see where we are in the league? So, this is the current league standings. We are top of the table by five points, 31 points from 11 games played, 32 goals scored, two conceded. Notts County sit in second place on 26. Then come Wrexham, Ultranham, Morecambe, Bournemouth, and Gateshead. In the um, relegation zone, we have Woking, Haven and Waterlooville. Today's opponents, Bromley and Maidenhead. Uh, Kuhn is third in the league table for goal scorers. Then we have Farouja and Bennett on the highest ratings, first and third, respectively. And then clean sheets, we have Coleman on nine. Nine league clean sheets and uh, 11 games. Makes no sense, but Talbot did play the first game of the season. That's probably why. So, let's jump into the starting level for today's FA Cup 4th qualifying round against Bromley. <laughs> so, this is the starting level for the first game of today's video. We've got Coleman in goal, Bennett, Max and Orr in centre-backs. Uh, Promise on the right, who's coming for the injured um, Galvez, who's still off for a couple more weeks. How long has he got? Three weeks. So he's been playing well right wing back. And we've got Kingsley as left wing back. Sheaf, Castro and Sykes in the middle. With um, two main strikers of Kuhn and Duante Moreira up front. Talbot, Seddon, Ferruja, Curry, Harper, Pereira and Mario are on the bench. As you can see, Mario hasn't featured this uh, season so far. And nor has Harper. But they were very um, consistent last season when they came off the bench and played so hopefully if we need to we can bring them off and they do well for us but that's a starting 11 let's go out to the teams walk out on the pitch so here we go we are in a away kit the yellow away kit for once we usually play in the blue when we're away for some reason i don't know why bromley are in the white kingsley straight for, literally the first height of the game kingsley back the sheaf kingsley whips it in back post it's clear by hartridge 
Sykes will pick it up. Got no one, no support. It looks for the cross, but it's blocked. But Wheeling can clear it for Bromley. Conroy, Butler, Colson, Smith Brown. Strolling forward. Can we get a tackle in? Kingsley comes in, claims it. Gives it to Kern, who looks at Durante or Morera. Durera shoots and it's straight down Ross's throat. Easy catch. Two minutes played, playing. Good start, good start. Bromley up the throw then. Uh, 14 minutes played. Promise clears it. Up to Kern. The only person he's got is John takes it forward. It's a poor pass, and Bromley have it with Hartridge at the back. But Kern nips in with the tackle. Kern's one on one. Oh, what a strike. Kern's eighth goal of the season. Well, oh, there's always in work as well. It's a poor first ball. Roberts gives it to Mahati. Mahati. Sounds like a McDonald's menu. But Kern nips it off to the defender and on his right foot as absolutely smashes it. Ross gets a hand to it, but can't keep out. 1 0, 14 minutes played. Literally just go praise him for that goal and they got another highlight straight from it. Kern looking for Kingsley, but it's cleared by Smith Brown. Or Kingsley. Castro. Sykes. Back to uh, Max, who gives out the promise. Looks for Kern on the, on the wing. He gets it in block, shots block, and then the. Shot is saved by Ross. I mud up what I was going to say there. Mud that up, up right up. Right into the second half. Now, not much happened. Nothing's happened after that last highlight. Kings of the throw gives it to a Morera. Sheaf on six yard box. Shots blocks. Castro. Ball falls to him. Castro has a pop and Ross makes the claim. Another highlight. Paul misses on a booking. He's got to be careful. Paul misses got it. He's driving forward as a wing back. He's doing well. There's no one come anywhere near him. What's his cross going to be like? Can he get the cross in? He doesn't give it to the curve, edge of the box. The Sykes. Back to Promise. Looked offside. No flag. Sheaf. Flag goes up late. But well worked. Well worked. Hardwich, Hardwich from the um, free kick was given. It was a poor free kick, but he still got it with Wheeland. Nice little one two. Wheeland again to Conroy. Conroy looking for Annesley. Smith Brown on the right hand side now for Bromley. Coming forward. Back to Annesley. Smith Brown, Brown with the ball. Gives an out back to Annesley. Nice little one twos he's still playing. Or comes in and picks it up. Long ball. It's a poor. Jonas can clear. Promise is picked up the retrieving header. Promise is three on three. He gets past the defender. Might do something here. Still Promise doing well. And he goes for a shot instead of looking for the cross. 50 minutes played. Still 1-0. Como with the goal kick. 68 minutes played. Going to the sixth knife minute. Bennett Sykes. Print. Uh, Promise. Still got it. Driving forward again. He's done well on this on his right hand side for us. Can he get deliver? Lays off the Kingsley. What are we looking for? Kingsley. Kingsley shoots. It's easy for Ross. No pressure at all. I'm gonna have to make a sub, I think. The game sort of mellowed out a little bit. There's no lot a lot going on, but we never know. Highlight's still going. Sheaf gives it out to Promise again. Seems to be our outlet, Promise, on this half. Cross comes in, Sheaf! Oh, just wide of the post. Right, let's make this sub. We're always having a poor game. Bring on, go bring on Mario. And we're all gonna also bring off Sykes and bring on Pereira as well. Two subs. Bennett's not having a great game, so we've got to keep an eye on that. If need be, we can put in Kingsley into set up defence and then bring on for Ruger for Bennett. We'll give it five minutes there and see what happens. So not a lot has happened since I made that sub. Nothing at all, in all fairness. Like I said, we're gonna take off, put Keynes off and Bennett. Take uh, Bennett off and bring on Faruja for the last eight minutes. See if that spices the game up a little bit. All right, here come Bromley with a throw. Conroy. Oh, uh, Promise has gone invisible. Two of the players have gone invisible. Promise, he's doing well. They can't see him. You can't see me. Still Promise. Still, but they can't see him. You see a ball is moving. He's chasing the ball. Point whips it in. She for the header, no. Alpha players disappeared. About bloody right, isn't it? For Rujo, I can see the name. He's gone past one. He missed him. He couldn't see him. Kun. Pereira. Promise. Oh, it's just gone wide. It's just dirty tactics. Dirt, dirty, dirty tactics. You have a bit of camouflage piquet. Of course it is. That's just FM for you there, isn't it? Castro the ball. For, I didn't even see Rujo. That's a good ball to Kun. One on one to finish the game. A little dink, but it's 
great at the keeper. Got me finishing these. Uh, we're going to slow it right down now. We've got the last few minutes to full time. We're in injury time. Faruja whips it in. Kingsley gets it on that. No, it's clear as far as Jonas. Navarro. He's looking for Smith Brown. We've been caught out on a counter. Smith Brown! Smith Brown with the equaliser in the 90th minute. Caught out. And it's his first goal for the club. Of course it is. Players go invisible and the bloke scores the first goal of the season. But we're caught out from the corner. It's our own fault. Ah, do we want a replay? Possibly not. Will it go to the replay? Possibly. Or is it extra time? It's extra time? It is indeed. Keep it going, boys. The players are knackered. Thiago, promise I've been on bookings. Make sure they don't pick up another booking. 99 minutes played. Kingsley with a free kick on the right hand side. He's going to whip it in. He does. Oh, oh, it's gone over the bar. Just gone over the bar. Barney with the throw then. Perugia, Castro. Can't believe it. Right, sorry, I know we're not meant to. But if it's like that, I can't see the players. Pereira. Shoots from distance straight at Ross. We'll do 2D and moment with 3D highlights for the goals, if there's any more goals. Lost time with a goal kick. He's going long. Straight to Orr. Max, back to Orr. Look at the space, look, look at the space we got here on the wings. Ball there and a the ball there. We're in. What's Pereira going to pick out? There's one ball to promise. He's had a good good game, in all fairness. Can we get the crossing? He doesn't. Couldn't pick it out, though. Smith Brown goes to tackle, but Kuhn's still got it. Whips in back post. Mario! Mario Ferreira! One minute to go for half time in extra time. Kuhn with a great ball. Look fantastic. Promises a shot. His, block, his cross is blocked. I don't know how they blocked it, but you couldn't see him. He, Kuhn gets past Smith Brown with one tackle, and Mario from the tightest of angles makes it 2 1. Five minutes to go. And probably never throw Navarro. Conroy! Straight down com uh, Commons for uh, folk, luckily. Max. Sheaf. Players are absolutely hanging out their ass. We've got another game in three days. I think rotation might be on the cards. Sheaf. It's still going. It's still going. Sheaf, finish it. Oh, Ben Sheaf. It was fourth goal of the season. Picked it up in the centre midfield. Went forward. No one tackled him. They could see him. Not that they couldn't see him. No one put a challenge in. And a little toe poke. And it goes into the far corner. 3-1. That should be us in the FA Cup first round. And there you have it. 3-1 win. After the extra time. Whew. We made hard work of that, didn't we? Definitely made hard work of that. But next you're going to see who we get in the FA Cup first round. Hopefully we get like a League 1 team, a League 2 team. That'd be nice. At home as well. A bit more money coming in for a bit, bit more cash. Financials will be good. So you're going to see me for when Peter Crouch and Terry Butcher pull out the balls. Hopefully our number for the FA Cup second uh, first round. I don't know why it's Terry Butcher and Peter Crouch. It's the first two names that come to my head. Hashtag in it as well. Hashtag in the FA Cup first round. Spencer will be happy with that. We received 10,000 as well. Zach had a good get. I couldn't see him. I'm not going to lie. Right, FA Cup, second round. FA Cup, first round draw. Go. <laughs> right, before we go into the first round draw, for legal reasons, Tay Bircher and Peter Crouch will not be drawing it. You never know. They might watch us. You never know. So, there is 80 teams to be drawn. We're going to absolutely smash it as fast as we can and see who we get. Ready? Go. Come on. Ooh, South Shields. I hear it's that quick with South Shields. Home game against South Shields in the National League North. Currently fighting relegation? No. Well, yeah, not on great run. 
But South Shields are who we got in the FA Cup first round. That's a nice tidy tie. I like all that. Might give us a good chance of getting into the league's uh, second round. Be good. Also, we had the Bill Base FA Trophy third round draw. Draw teams. We haven't played our game yet against Ware, but if we do, we play either York or Chorley in that one. Lovely jubbly. So, the next time you're going to see me, it will be in a second. It is for the Woking game in the league. Right, welcome back to game day two. This time it's a game against Woking in the league. Woking currently sitting 20th in the league. 22nd, oh, apologies. Sitting second from bottom on six points. We should win, he says. He says. So this is going to be the starting lineup. A couple of changes from the last game just due to fitness issues. Coleman in goal. Bennett, Max and Orr in the centre of defence. Kingsley on the left. Ashmead making his first appearance in 88 games. 88 games his first appearance. I'm short on right backs. Promises absolutely knackered after playing 120 minutes and had a, not a bad game in the last game, you got to admit. Uh, Castro, Ugo, and Sykes on the mid centre midfield. The two main strikers of Duante and Kern up front. Both on good form at the moment. Both eight goals and ten goals in 13 games is not bad at all. Talbot, Ferruja, Pereira, Devoy, and Mitchell Curry are on the bench. Saying that, I want both centre backs. So Sam Burns go go on instead of Devoy. Just want a centre defender. Because you never know. And Tyler Ashmead needs a uh, number. 25. There you go, sir. Right, before this starts, let's get back into the 3D. Uh, hopefully, no kits disappear. We can see actually see what's going on. We are in the white. Woken are in the yellow-orange colour. First highlight of the game, and it goes to Woken. McMahon will refer to white. Cooper's got the ball in, gives it to Nightingale, who can keep it on. Rips across the back post. White with a header. It's off the bar and goes over. Woking with the be first best chance. So we've got a corner. Castro to whip it in on his left foot. Goes in there post clear. But Cooper's off the post. We'll keep it safe at Castro. Crosses cleared by Jackson. A wearman can come forward for Woking. That's a good tackle with Uga. Apparently he's still in late. One thing they got to fix at FM22 is the slow tackles. Well, the animation for a slow tackle. Cooper, just before half-time, whips it in. White clears, it's clear. Castro, Uga, Moreira to Kun. Back to Moreira. Poor touch, first touch, but he gets away with it. He's got four defenders there. He's got no one to back him up. It's a tackle, it's a penalty. Mac, Mac Lamamara, Lamamara, he's giving away a penalty. It's not an easy word to say. Castro steps up, left foot. Slots it into the keeper's right. 1-0, literally on the stroke of half time. Well, that changes my team talk a little bit. 1-0. Well done, boys. Talking of team talks, there's room for improvement. It's not been a fantastic game. But we'll win in nonetheless. Go out there and do a bit more in the second half. Cooper with a free kick for Woking. to Nightingale, edge of the box. Back out here to Cooper on the right hand side. Gets the cross in. Where them? Joel Coleman with a save. Tips it over the bar to keep it 1 0. It was a cracking save. He had no right to save that. Cooper then with a, a corner. Whipped in. As Coleman comes and claims. Calm and collective. Love it. Love it. Love it. Gonna have to make a change in a minute. Castro is absolutely blowing out his backside. He's knackered. He's red. That's good. Not good at all because he might get injured. But White bringing it forward. Wehrman. You know we had that 12 games about conceding the goal. And I said we might make 18. I told you we can see the goal. Told you. We can see the two. And it's been coming as well. Working 1-1. One, one. White on the ball. Gets down our, our left hand side. Gets the cross in. And Wehrman, even with three players around him, still gets ahead on goal. 1-1. One, one. We are going to make this change because Castro is blowing out his bum. Pereira's coming over Castro. Whoever's coming up and putting Mitchell Curry on as well, it's early. But not everyone's having a great game. So we might have to take off Ashmead as well. He's, he's struggling at 6.3. 75 minutes plays Kingsley with the throw to Uga. 
Back to Kingsley. Goddard gets him, but Perver picks it up, looking for the switch. Ashmead gets into the box, gets the crossing, but it's blocked. Woken can clear this. It's a good ball, white on the ball. The counter is on now for Woken. Good tackle with it all, but it falls to Goddard. Where well, He's in again for number two. Jaden Wareham, second goal of the game. Where are we at the back? These last couple of games. Goddard, it's a good ball, Wareham, and Coleman comes out early, makes himself big. But Wareham slots it past him. 2 1 Woken. Could our first defeat of the season be coming? Sykes needs to get back to it straight away. Ferruja has come over Kingsley, who is absolutely shattered. Sykes, or all. all the way back to Coleman. Switches to Ashmead. Don't know what to do with himself, but he's staying on. He's getting 90 minutes. Bennett. Back to Max. To Bennett. Uga. Sykes. Good football. We're keeping the ball. We're keeping pressure. They're looking to part the bus. Goddard gets the tackle and Nightingale retrieves it. It's clear. As far as Pereira. Back to Uga. Uga. Not Uga. Uga. Good ball. Curry. Mitchell Curry. The flag goes up. It's a late flag. Well taken, though, but it's a late flag for offside. Could be right the team, because this is a very poor second half performance. Curry's again. One-on-one -on -one again. Curry! I'd be rated them. That's not going to help. <laughs> Curry, he's got he, he's got two and 30 seconds, basically. First one was offside. But this one, literally from the free kick from the offside. Scott of a poor clearance. Gives it to Kern, who sees the runner Curry. He's onside this time. And a first time finish into the bottom corner makes it 2 2, and I've been rated them. Cooper, free kick, 30 yards out, no way. Common makes it look good for the cameras. He knows this is a live con game, that's why. He knew it was a live con game. You've got to clear this now. Casey then taking the time over the kick. He's wasting a bit of time. He's whipped in. It's cleared by Orr. Pereira get there first. He does. Counter is on, maybe. Pereira is driving forward. Keep going, my son. Gets the cross in. It's a good cross, but it's clear as far as Uga. Pereira. Back to Sykes in the middle. Sykes, give a shot. No, it leads off to Ashmead. Gives it to Uga. White. Bringing it forward for Woking. Gets the cross in, but it's blocked. Can Sykes get there? He doesn't. End of the highlight. Random highlight. Five minutes injury time to be played. And the five minutes have been played. 2-2 two, two against second from bottom in the league. And they've put a fight in all fairness. If they do that all season, they'll be fine. Uh, not good enough at 6.2. I'm going to have to have a word, mate. Um, not pleased with what I saw from you tonight. 6.2. Can't be much aware of that. Anything below a 6.5 is poor. Durante, what's going on? You deserve to come off of that. Deserved. I mean, very, very bollock them, in all fairness. It's the first time I've had to do it in this safe. But a 6.2 from a Tyler Ashmead, it's not good. This is why he's not getting game time. This is why he's not played in 88 games. <sighs> Balls. Never mind. Never mind. Still undefeated. That's the main thing. Still undefeated. And yeah, I know you can see the league table. We'll have a closer look. Just in a sec. So this is what the league table is as it stands. We are three points clear of Notts County in second place. Wrexham, Ultranham, Morecambe, Gateshead and Bournemouth currently sit in the playoffs. That point for Bromley doesn't do anything for them. They're still in the relegation zone with Maidenhead, Dagenham Redbridge and Woking. We didn't play Bromley. We played Bromley in the little cup, not the league. The point for Brom for Woking still didn't do much. They're still in the relegation zone. So ignore what I just said, basically. So, we've got a lot of games to play in December. A lot of games to play in December. The fir uh, For the next episode, we will be playing a double header again. We're going to be playing the Eastley and Ultram game at the end of December. So we've got a lot of games to go through then. Hope you can join me then. If you have enjoyed today's episode, click that like button. Also, if you want to see more content from me please hit that subscribe button and the new the new the old 
it's just a notification bell. I'm a notification bell to let you know when a new video is out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Oh, if you have made it to the end of this video, and you want to be in with a chance of winning a copy of FM22, make sure you follow me on Twitter at MSOXGaming. Uh, like my tweet on the pin profile. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for the YouTube. And we tweet the tweet. We tweet the tweet for a chance to win a copy of FM22. But until next time, guys, please stay.